This is Celsion City Headlines. We have a couple special interviews lined up for you today. Take it away, Chris. This is Chris Parker with Celsion City Headlines. We have Electrode here today. How you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, good. So, first question, what pushed you to become a hero and not a villain? Oh, the fucking scum in the city. There, Yeah, there's a lot of villains. Uh, that's it? You just wanted to be a good dude, huh? It's not about being a good person. It's about cleaning up the streets. All right, everyone wants it better for the kids. Do you ever plan on Fuck getting these your- these kids. Do you ever plan on getting your hero certification? Hero certification means nothing to me. Okay, you know that's illegal, right? Being a vigilante? Which would you rather have? A vigilante on the streets cleaning it up? Or somebody selling children at the age of nine? That, that's a good point. I agree with you. Um... So you're not a teenager like most of the new superheroes. How did you get your powers and why did you come to the superhero scene so late? Well, unlike most of these heroes these days, I wasn't born with my powers. Okay. Oh, that's it? Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, and did you live in Halcyon City forever or did you move here? I've lived here since the dawn of time. No, nah, I've lived here my whole life. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, well, uh, it's been a good interview. Thank you. Uh, back to you, Chris. <laughs> that was a good interview, Chris. In later news, we're going to talk about the prostitution ring run underneath the zebra habitat at the local zoo. Back to you, Chris. Chris Parker here with Halcyon City Headlines. We have Dr. Deals here, and I have a couple questions for you. How you doing today, Chris? I'm all right. How about you, Dr. Deals? Eh, hasn't been a bad day. All right. But there's always crime to fight. What pushed you to become a hero and not a villain? Honestly, I couldn't give a damn. I'm sorry, can I say damn? Yeah, this is Elcyon. Okay, well I couldn't give a damn about a hero or a villain. One time, this alligator man on the villain side, he just happened to piss me off. So it's more personal than anything. Yeah? Well, it's not really right or wrong. We all do a little bad every now and then. Um, yeah, normally heroes don't, but I guess you do. There's a fine line. All right. Well, do you ever plan on getting your hero certification? I'll see when that day comes. I don't really like being on the radar. I can't trust a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not a teenager like most. Uh, how do you get your powers? Well, I don't really like to admit this, but, you know... A lot of people do ask how my powers originate, and the truth is I was bitten by a rabid, crazy, radioactive chinchilla. A chinchilla? A chinchilla. They seem fragile and fluffy and like nothing could happen to them, but crazy little bastards. Well, all right. Well, you control animals. If you can have another power, what would it be? Hmm... I think, hmm, to transform into the animals I control. Transforming into the animals, what would be the first animal that you transform into? Probably a panther. Or maybe I would tra- t- turn into a chinchilla and go, go start a chinchilla fighting ring and beat the chinchilla's ass who turned me into this. Spiteful. All right, well, you've lived in Helsing, have you lived in Helsion forever or did you move here? Yeah, about six years ago, right before my daughter was born. We can cut that if you need. I moved from Florida. (laughs) All right. Six years ago. All right, well, we're going to cut it here. Uh, We'll cut some of that. All right, you have a good day. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. In today's news, a local man fell off of a golf cart earlier this week. Apparently, he landed on his taint and has had an erection for the past eight days. Back to you, Chris. This is Chris Parker with Halcyon City Headlines. We have Anchorman here. How are you today? I'm doing great, Chris. How about you? I'm doing all right. I'm here with the Anchorman. So what pushed you to become a hero and not a villain? Ah, that's a great question. Uh, I think just uh, probably looking around and seeing there's already a lot of villains, you know? Uh, 
have my bad, my bad days where I kind of wish I was villain, but you know, good will always outcome the bad. All right. So I think I know the answer to this one already, but will you ever get your hero certification? Oh, most definitely. Um, it's probably out of everybody I hang out with and the other ser uh, superheroes that I do things with and fight with. Uh, probably I will be I will before them. Um, just personal preference. Okay. Well, you're also not a teenager like most of the new heroes out there. Uh, how do you get your powers? Why do you learn of them so late? Okay, so wild story. Of course, it includes my friends, but we had a party. Um, just just got totally wasted. If we're being honest with you, totally wasted. Couldn't hundred percent function. Didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, and then my bud L walked in and he had a case of beers and we drank the beers and uh yeah. Next thing we know, probably a few hours later, we each have unique fucking powers. So you can control bow and arrows and make them. Sp Spectral? What are you doing? So with my arrows, I can take, let's say, uh, however many I want. I'm just that guy. Uh, so, so let's say, for instance, I take 200 arrows and I want to shoot them all at once. I'm able to make them phase and hit the villain or the enemy in different directions. He'll never see them coming. Hmm. Very interesting. And if you could have another power, what would it be? Uh, definitely. See, I would since I, since I can already phase, I wouldn't go with teleportation, but... Possibly go with probably flying. Okay. Super supervision. One of those. Well, have you lived in Halcyon City forever or did you move here? Um, we've lived here for just pretty much my whole life. Uh, I don't know anything else, honestly. All right. Well, we love our citizens of Halcyon no matter where they come from, right? Well, Chris, back to you. Thanks, Chris. Breaking news today. Hero orangutan titties died. Her name wasn't orangutan titties. It was <laughs> orangutan titties. Titties. Um, she was French. Back to you, Chris. This is Chris Parker with Halcyon City Headlines. We're here with the Golden Pint. All right. So what pushed you to become a hero and not a villain? Well, I've always worked super menial jobs my entire life. I'm tired of just being a nobody. Well, all right. You ever plan on getting your hero certification? Probably not. No, why? Because no, no one needs me in their system. So you're against the system? I'm against being in the system, not against the system as a whole. Well, all right. Villains do not need to know my family. Well, will you ever tell us your true identity? Probably not. No? I guess that again, to protect my family. All right. You're not a teenager like most of the new heroes. When did you get your powers? Why did you come out so late? Well, so I got my powers like all the other heroes. I grew up with them. And I was a really shy kid. And I didn't want to. But at a certain point... Well, living my menial life, I got so tired of it, that blew up inside me. It really did. Your powers are pretty strong. Uh, you can control the elements. Um, do you like having that superpower, even though it's a little combustive? Sometimes you blow stuff up that you don't mean to. I mean, it just means more responsibility for me, which isn't great, but it means someone else doesn't have it, at least. Well, if you could have another power, what would it be? Hmm, that's a good one. Maybe teleportation. Teleportation, that's a good one. I would that's if a good I one. accidentally fuck something up, I can teleport away. <laughs> I understand that. Well, have you lived in Halcyon forever, or did you move here? I've lived here my entire life. Yeah? Lived here, worked jobs. No, a good chunk of the people in town. I'm a good community member. Well, all right. Well, this is going to be the end here. Back to you, Chris.